In the wake of Queen Elizabeth II's passing, a new era has dawned for the British monarchy and the Commonwealth. King Charles III, the newly crowned monarch, is making headlines with his planned visit to Kenya. This planned visit signifies not just a continuation of the royal tradition of state visits, but also the commencement of King Charles III's reign and his approach towards the Commonwealth. There's an air of anticipation, but also a measure of uncertainty, as this visit may well chart a new course for the Commonwealth under his leadership. The dynamics between the UK and its former colonies, particularly in Africa, have long been a topic of debate. This visit, therefore, carries weight. It's a chance for King Charles III to reinforce the relevance of the Commonwealth, especially in the face of recent discussions questioning its continued existence. King Charles III's visit to Kenya follows the first state visit by South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa. This sequential choice of visits is seen by many as an indication of the new king's intention to strengthen ties with Africa, a continent that holds a significant portion of the Commonwealth's member states. However, the road ahead is not without challenges. African scholars are increasingly vocal about issues such as reparations, trade inequalities, and immigration policies. The Commonwealth, representing one-third of the world's population, is being called upon to address these issues. This visit to Kenya, therefore, is more than just a diplomatic event. It's a moment of reckoning for the Commonwealth and its new leader. In summary, King Charles III's planned visit to Kenya signifies the beginning of his reign and possibly a new direction for the Commonwealth. The visit comes at a time when the relevance of the Commonwealth is being questioned, and issues such as reparations, trade inequalities, and immigration policies are being brought to the forefront. How King Charles III navigates these challenges will undoubtedly determine the future of the Commonwealth under his leadership. This is a crucial juncture in history, a time of transition, and the world watches with bated breath as the new king steps into his role and the Commonwealth charts its course into the future.